Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Metzl. We are in the final week, the run-up to the biggest pay-per-view of the year, if you don't count WrestleMania. Royal Rumble, it's everyone's favorite at barest of minimum. And we have one hell of a show going on tonight, folks. We are going to start it off with the fantastic one himself in the ring, Mr. Jimmy Minmax-tastic, coming out to speak his mind. Don't know what's on it. Probably just a few yeps and a couple poses, but let's get to ringside and find out. I am so excited for this Sunday night, 8 p.m. UT, sorry, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. <laughs> UTC. Forgot what time it ever was in England. <laughs> <laughs> or the Royal Rumble should be one hell of a pay-per-view, and the only way to watch it is right here on Jimmy Fantastic's Twitch. And if you want to take part in that conversation in chat during it, you will have to be a subscriber. That's how we get your pay for pay-per-view. Jimmy Ventura, how are you feeling about this run-up week? No, oh, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. But let's listen to the most glorious man in the JFW first. See what he's got to say for himself. At least we are spared the majority of his introduction. Hello, JFW. I'm pretty universe. I'm pretty tired. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty tired. Tired of <laughs> coming out here every week and fucking wanger kicking me in the bollocks. Maybe that little fucking goblin kicking me in the bollocks. Fucking cocky kicking me in the bollocks. It's all a lot of bollocks. I tell you, I'm sick of it. I am, I'm, I'm fucking sick and tired. And uh, I'm just going to pause for a little bit. I mean, you could say I'm knackered, but knackered, tired, whatever it is, I'm just, I'm just sick. I'm sick of it. And I want that fucking dickhead, table leg wanger, to fucking finish this once and for all. Well, asking you shall receive it. Looks like table leg wanger's coming out to go head to head on the oh, mic hey, with wanger. Jimmy. Fantastic, uh, not much of a challenge there as the uh, forever knackered one uh, started off with the <laughs> barely conscious, but here comes Wanger, and I think Surely once these two are in the ring, mono, Go fuck mono, yourself. the sparks could fly. Let's see what Wanger's got for him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are a cheeky little bastard, aren't you? I tell you what. I was just out back, mind my own business, playing some TFT like I usually do, 18 hours a day. But you, mouth all the time. I tell you what, I'd say you had some balls, but I know you don't, because me and Cock and Ball Torture have destroyed them. So that's the only reason you're calling me out here, is because you've got no nuts to lose. I've still got me nuts left, thanks very much. But no thanks to you fucking pair of bastards. And you fucking... You calling me a cheeky bastard? You're the cheeky bastard who fucking jumped me when I was in hospital. Fucking... Well, the lowest of the low. You come in there with your fucking Big Dave or whatever. Fucking spark me out when I'm already nearly dead. You fucking prick. Hey, mate. You were asking for that. You used to be a champion when I used to hang about with you. But now look at you. No title, nothing. I tell you what, mate. You, you just, you're just a Poundland me. That's all you are. Poundland. Greg's. I'm Greg's. You're, you're Coopland's. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. You have crossed the fucking line, mate. Fucking Coopland's. <laughs> Lens. Fuck you! I am fucking Greg's gold, mate. I am a fucking, I'm a fucking sausage and bean melt, <laughs> and you're just a fucking melt. <laughs> so I don't 
<laughs> Why don't you just fucking face me at the Royal Rumble? Last man fucking standing. You raffy cunt. Oh, uh, ding. <laughs> you daft, ugly bastard. I tell you what. I am going to give you... I, I'm not even going to give you one back. I'll just give you half a back because I tell you what, mate. You are going to get it. I am going to kick your teeth in, you little shit. First of all... I'm going to speak when my lips aren't moving. There you go. First of all, I'm not your mate, mate. <laughs> I'm going to do you in. All right. Just like just like it was a scrap outside escapades. I'm going to fucking do you over, you fucking jumped up twat. So, are, are you on then? Is that what is it? You accepting the challenge, is it? You're fucking going to go, are you? You fucking pussy. You are as daft as you look. You know for a fact that I've never, I've, I have a hundred percent win re win record outside of escapades. I tell you what, no one can hold a candle to me outside of that place. I knock people out, and I tell you another thing. I'm not your mate either, mate. <laughs> you fucking bastard, yeah. Well, all right then, mate. I'll see you. A fucking Royal Rumble, and I will knock your fucking spark out, you fucking Raj Packet. See ya! Well, well, well. No, they're not. Well, well, well. If you don't live within a 10 minute drive of central Newcastle, you probably have no idea what any oh, of hey, those words that they disputed each other meant. But I can assure you one thing, we have just booked another match for Royal Rumble. Last man standing to end the feud, the blood feud between former best friends, Jimmy Fantastic and Table Leg Wanger. That one is gonna be something to see and you can see it this weekend at Royal Rumble. And now shades of another match booked for Royal Rumble try versus jbg he will be facing his tag team partner fox savania for the extra arms belt championship winning a shot at that title last week and here he is facing the tag partner to kind of show him what he's got in store in just a few days time at royal rumble man jimmy ventura what do you got to say about that intro there those two guys are going to go at it and those two guys are going to tear into each other and they're going to go at each other hard <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah it was, uh, it was it was certainly it was certainly a promo wasn't it <laughs> it was certainly a promo absolutely you knew you knew the shit was hitting the fan the second uh greg's got invoked by table leg wanger that seemed to be the the, the the fire under jimmy's ass that woke him up from being knackered from too much battle brothers i think you i think you might have crossed a line there to be honest with a greg slur i think that could be it i think that could drive uh, i think that could drive jimmy fantastic over the edge <laughs> absolutely well let's get down to ringside try thick 1k Try as he's better known. Inspector Try, as he used to be called, no longer has any relevance whatsoever. Making his way out. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. <laughs> Yes, that was a very that was a very uh, northern argument, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Gorilla, you're a lot quieter than normal. I put you to two hundred percent on the volume. Really? Yeah, and you're still just not very loud. Hang on. Um, let me see about that. Like I can turn you up more actually, it's just it's just weird, so No, I mean it should be I, I it should be peaking on my end, but uh, everything there is good. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, maybe it'll be okay, I don't know, I don't know what it sounds like for them. It's just you're not sound you're not yeah, allowed to Yeah, Let me uh, talk asking. for a second then listen to the stream and see how that sounds. Yeah. Cause normally you're on like one fifty. 
and you sound louder than you are do now at 200, so I don't know what it is, but there you go. doesn't matter, really. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, as long as they can hear you. Um, do uh, it for Yorkshire. I, I, well, my settings are identical to the way they always are uh, for my mic. So. Weird. I don't know. Maybe something in uh, OBS? I don't know, because because Wangu was, was dead loud, so... Yeah. Hmm. Weird. Weird. The king of small packages, that's what he is. How did you get in on this Fugonomics? Um, there is... There is this. Um, but... Um, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> You can fill in the spreadsheet and then see what happens. Try is just uh, all right, grabbing. and we've started off. Try forcing uh, JBG into the corner now uh, has to be separated by the ref, and then back right after him. Quick knee there, and look at this nice neck breaker there by Try taking his time on this one. Yep. <laughs> That is simply not JBG true. Coming right the data does not support kicks. your assertion. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> try coming off the ropes. Oh, nice forearm there by JBG. Okay. Yeah, the problem that we have now is we're basically at the max of characters, so it's like... You know, there's not a lot of slots open for other people. Yeah. <clears throat> See what I can do anyway. I haven't had a session adding people for ages just because of being fucked. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've got like two more months of this before uh, I think I'm ending the the overarc of uh, what we've been committed to for the last year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then what you do from it from there is all completely up to you. <laughs> yeah, that's the... Uh, so that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> it's going to get a lot worse after <laughs> that. It's going to get a lot less directed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to oh, get a lot Oh, here's a pinfall worse. attempt I try. A little bit hopeful there. Just gets a one count. It is, isn't it? JPG Yoga! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at this, though. Powerbomb coming, maybe. Maybe he just wants Ooh. to have some fun. No. Slides him over onto the shoulders, but it looks like he spent too much time. JBG able to elbow him in the head, get out of that one. And now JBG looking to put him up on the shoulders. And oh, what a, what a slam there. JBG going top rope. Don't see this from him too often. Uh, WrestleMania flicky. Oh, and he drops the elbow but comes up empty. And now, oof, hangs him up on those ropes there, drops him dead weight onto him. JBG in charge. No, try grabbing the leg, dragging screw, and now try standing tall here. Try is. Pretty damn tall. Now he's got him back up on those shoulders again. No, countered again by JBG. Beautiful swing DDT there. Oh, and he drops the elbow, has to wind himself up to add absolutely no extra impact. Yep. <laughs> and now there's that power bomb. Sit down, power bomb, pinfall attempt here. Oof, yeah. Oh, he's ready yeah, for the Flicky. good cutter. Yeah, good cutter coming, and this could be the thing Flicky does not want to see. He's vying for that Royal Rumble match for JBG's title. JBG has no other contenders that we know of, Ooh. but Flicky has not yet uh, sealed the deal on that. We'll have to wait till Friday to see if he can pull it off and get that title shot. And here we've got Try kicking out of the good cutter, but still imperiled here. It sure is. Another pin attempt here by uh, JBG. No. Nope. A late two count kick out. Once again, tries getting weak. JBG just needs to pour it on here, and I think he's going to have a pretty easy win. And that's that champion. That that's that champion streak that we've seen from both JBG 
and Foxamania, the Yorkie boys from the last month or so, really on a tear. I think the only blemish was them losing to Plain White Toast, a fact that Flicky will probably never let us forget. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Now, JBG just trying to drain the energy out of Try. Oh, look at this. What a counter by Try, though. Another Try's small package coming back into play. No. <laughs> kicks out again. And Try's small package, which got him partially into this title match at this coming Sunday. But Try's small package not coming out yet. He has not fully whipped it out yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if he does, I think we're really in for a sight, folks. Tries small package uh, can be devastating <laughs> when applied correctly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but just the threat of Tries small package has opened up an avenue to a victory here for Try. He's right back in this match now, and uh, not going small package here. Normal pinfall hooks the leg. Just the one count. Ref, pretty small. Sorry, not small. I've got to try the small package on the brain. <laughs> Ref, pretty all. slow to slow to count there. Oh. Oh, but here we go. Try, try. Maybe looking for that scissor kick. Yeah. Absolutely. Here comes the scissor grind, and there it is. Is, is this that going to be, be it? enough to put JBG away? What a message that would send to Foxomania. <laughs> and he's done it. Try has won it. He did not need to dig out his small package. Able to win it with the scissor grind. And Try riding high as he goes into Royal Rumble to face uh, Foxamania for the Extra Arms Belt Championship. Oh, boy. One trick pony. Gets wow. it done. <laughs> Good day, Cody. <laughs> Equity. <laughs> Try standing tall. And you you know if you're uh, Foxamania, you had to take notes there. The scissor grind, devastating, but he's got to look out for Try's small package on Sunday because if Try delivers that small package, this match could be over and we could have a new champion. All yeah. because of Try's small package. <laughs> and now we're going to move on the unholy alliance, Mr. Jims McMahon and six feet down under. Well, they've been on a tear and Gengar here. Uh, they got the win on, on stand firm over uh, just Joe and, and uh, Clavius. But here comes Frost Lord with just Joe in his corner facing off Gengar and a new look. Mr. Jims McMahon coming out to watch his undead abominations wreak havoc on mighty AF. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bean won't. Bean will be watching from Bean Manor, and he's <laughs> we feel let down. I'm sure by that performance. But hey, let, let, let's not let's not get on JBG's ass. And uh, let's you know, it's just a great performance from Try, wasn't it? And, uh, Absolutely, yeah. Don't get on JBG's ass like the, like Try's small package could have been <laughs> to end that match. Instead, going for the scissor grind and closing it out. Yep. <laughs> hey, you know what, Herakala, when you got a move that works, you use it. And I got to say, Try's small package is very effective at putting men down for the count. <laughs> And here they are, six feet down under as Gengar, the unholy alliance with Mr. Jims McMahon. And we know there's going to be a some form of a hell in a cell match this Sunday at Royal Rumble. And uh, it's going to be brutal. This could be the end of Mighty AF, or it could be the start of something great. Who knows? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jim's taker. <laughs> I still think he should have been Paul Bear. They, they didn't have Paul Bear in the, in the game, I'm pretty sure. I mean, he just wore a suit. <laughs> 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 and you just put red red cheeks on him. He would have been fun. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, I, uh, do they not have the urn entrance? I guess they probably don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's Mr. Jim McMahon, cocky. The mm. unholy alliance of un uh, six feet down under and uh, Mr. Jim McMahon. Uh, everything being thrown at the wall by the big boss to try and knock Mighty AF off their perch. And here comes Frostlord for a one on one action. He's got just Joe in his corner. And that's, uh, you know, that's a face you want in your corner staring down your opponent. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, yeah, Brother Love family. Yeah. Well, here comes, uh, here comes Frostlord. Frostlord himself has really been on a tear as of late. Let's see if he can keep the momentum uh, or get the momentum back for Mighty AF. Of course, Tony plays poorly. Uh, it will be uh, going up against Gdanik later tonight after winning that incredible Hell in a Cell match against Night Demon. You know, this has been a split series thus far between Mighty AF and uh, and Six Feet Down Under. So <laughs> every single win's going to matter as these uh, teams are going straight into Royal Rumble to tear each other apart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe's, Joe, Joe's pretty good. Sure you? is. Sure <laughs> is. And here we go. Frost Lord off to a pretty good start. Letting uh, letting Gengar get back to his feet though. Questionable honor there by mm. Frost Lord as he sends him into the turnbuckle. And wow, Frost Lord just dropped him after sending him into the turnbuckle. What force there! And look at this this deadlift side suplex maybe. Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, but right back, just muscling him down, Gengar, back to his feet. And uh, he does have that few people have a size and power advantage on Frostlord. Gengar is one of them. And he's going to use that own move right back against Frostlord. And there it is, the slam down after the deadlift up. And now another <laughs> one coming. Gengar, is, he's just a tireless undead machination taking it to Frostlord Army right now. <laughs> Yep. Oh wow, you oh, bounced off it. And Frosty just bounced off of off of Gengar there. Oh, but look at this! Look at that! Huge military press slam! And now a, a very hopeful pinfall here. Yeah, just the one count. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing about the fucking Kooplins. <laughs> oh, huge right hook there. Oh, but he misses with the clothesline and gets run down. He didn't bounce off that time. Oh, Frostlord really taking it to Gengar in this one. Trying to showcase, but right back at him. This relentless monstrosity. Oh, but ragdolls him across the ring. Frostlord, the two big men are going to play such a huge role in this Hell in a Cell match coming up on Sunday. And they're trying to showcase why right now in the ring yep. mm -hmm. oh my goodness just flipped him over his head and dropped him face down and now a pinfall attempt here by Gengar oh Frosty kicks out at one oh god oh no you have Haluva kick into the corner Frosty down, might have caught him out there. Might have knocked him out, uh-oh. And again, dead lifting him up. Frostlord still hasn't moved and into that slam. Oh, oh no, and we've seen this before, that running kick to the head, dangerous time. Oh, he caught him too. Caught him right in the side of the head. They're not going for the pin though. <laughs> Maybe looking to inflict more damage on Frostlord oh, he's before the, this uh, Sunday. He's looking for the move. Sure is. There it is. Look at this power bomb. Drops the elbow afterwards, and that's gonna have to do it for Frostlord. I think that's got to be it. The ref be. gonna count it. <laughs> no, Frosty kicking out. Muscle memory there. Don't think he knows where he is, but he kicked out at two. Frostlord staying in this match, 
and Gengar now letting the audience know six feet down under is going to roll. And if, uh, if Frost Lord is going to prove him wrong, he's going to have to do it real <laughs> soon. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Well, there's a count, eh? 10 p.m. 10 p.m., JBG. Well, oh, look at this, though, by Frosty. Last ride, Powerbomb. What <laughs> force? Where did that come from? And now maybe thinking about a pedigree. Yeah. Where did this uh, Where did this burst of energy come from by Frost Lord? He's got the pedigree. He's oh, got man. him. Is he might it? have him here. What a comeback. Ref not counting. Ref. No. Yeah, ref really slow to count. I mean, maybe that's the effect of having the big boss, the guy who signs your paychecks, <laughs> standing directly behind you. But Frostlord, I think he had a three count there. <laughs> but now Frosty getting going here. Look at this. Telegraphing the big back body drop, but he still hits it. One more time. Spine buster. <laughs> Frosty firing on all cylinders right now and going right back in for a pin. Ref, again, a little bit slow to count. Two count again. He's got Frosty, to hesitate, hasn't oh. he, with Mr. Jimps on the outside there. I mean, yeah, he doesn't want really, to go too fast. Absolutely. Frosty, Frosty <laughs> trying to drink it in now, trying to keep himself calm maybe in the frustrations here. Now that big kick right back to Gengar. And he's still right on him. Look at this. Oh, he's going to just try and put him out. Ref can't do anything about that if he just knocks him out. Jims doesn't know what to do. Let's see. Will he tap out? <laughs> this animation is stupid when he's the life out of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks couldn't amazing. Like had, to, had to let go. Yeah, too tall to hang him there for too long. Frosty going to go for another oh pedigree. God. What the hell is happening here? Oh no, Jibs can't believe it. Pedigree number two after the big it. bear hug, and that's gonna have to do it. Ref can't can't not count this one. Whoa! What? The ref? Did you see that? The ref pulled his hand back at the last <laughs> second, and then the kick out came. I swear, this is bullshit. This is some bullshit right here. And Frosty knows it going right back in, and now here comes Gengar breaking up, breaking up that bear hug. And down for the sit button, sit down power bomb. My God, this is unbelievable. Gengar strike, striking a pose. Ref Surely right on top fights. of that pin. Go no fuck surprise yourself. there. But Frosty kicking out a one anyway. <laughs> it's it's not even predetermined, Basil. It's live. <laughs> yeah. Gengar doesn't seem to have any sense of urgency right now. Maybe he just knows the fix is in. Who knows? <laughs> Look at that! Another one just over the top, slamming, that slamming is simply Frosty not down. True. I think we might the have seen all the gas and Frosty's hand on that surge. Can he get something going here? Probably not after this. Oh no! Oh my God! I thought he's going out of the ring for a second there. <laughs> yeah. And here's the pin, ref, right on top of that pinfall. Oh! No, oh, Frosty kicking out. Frosty <laughs> kicking out. Looks like the ref, the ref and Gengar talking there. Gengar thought for sure he was supposed to have him. Now he's going to have to try and knock him out with another one of these mega power bombs and the drive, driving elbow afterwards. That's part oh one. That's God. part two. Is he going to pin him? He does right in for the pin there. This is it. This has got to be it. And it is. Gengar winning it. Had a little help from his friends. Jim McMahon on the outside smiling. Happy to happy to see the win there. Frost Lord Army's got something to complain about, but all he can do is regroup and get to Royal Rumble this Sunday. Get in that Hell in a Cell, and then we'll see. <laughs> we'll see where the cards do fall. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> Sailor Man got wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we've got Plim Plum Plooser Weight Championship up for grabs. Papa Piccolo didn't like what he saw from Ancy last week. Ancy getting the win uh, over Lebred Mask, stealing this one. I guess Papa Piccolo might be trying to assert dominance here, giving Ancy the title shot. Ancy not employed by the JFW, to my knowledge, but it, again, it just doesn't seem that Mr. Jim McMahon or the upper management. <laughs> 
care in the slightest about the cruiserweight or the excuse me the cruiserweight so uh, i get ansi's calling the shots here papa piccolo oh accepting God. and now we've got a uh, championship oh gold match coming up i'm gonna go refill some water real quick i'll be right back glorious <laughs> yeah the holy water would have helped maybe <laughs> And here he is, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Concussion. Oh god! It's the bread mask! <laughs> oh wait, what is this bullshit? What? Oh! Another championship match interrupted Le Bread Mask exacting a bit of revenge here on antsy battling on the ring or excuse me on the on the ramp my god he jumped in with a chair vicious chair oh, shot oh jeez yeah well uh war of the words happening before a war war of the bodies <laughs> on uh friday stand firm le bread mask le plum plum loser weight himself is out here trying to take it to antsy and uh yeah yeah i'm getting the word in the ear i knew this one was coming Regardless of the result here, we are going to have to preempt that championship match for time. But Ansi got the crab claws out. He's really taking it to the bread mask. It's almost like he was aware this was probably going to happen. Yeah, I think, yeah, you know, he's although he's had his brain rattled a number of times, <laughs> he was wise to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ansi making stale bread out of the bread mask there. And, uh, yeah, don't know what that, what the future holds for Ansi and Papa Piccolo, but all three, Ansi, well, not Ansi, or not Papa Piccolo, he is the champion. Ansi and the bread mask have both legitimately had title matches taken away from them now through the actions of the other and you know you ask me that sounds like we've got a triple threat brewing for royal rumble but we'll have to find out on friday stand firm and next up the vaunted number 27 spot of the royal rumble is up for grabs that is the historic winningest spot to enter from in all royal rumbles and this battle royal the winner of this one of these four men will get that spot and have a slight well, advantage over everyone well, else coming out stuck on uh, if bench. you uh, play the numbers uh, historically. Yes. Um, yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, couldn't have said it better myself, Jim. <laughs> yes, I could have, because I did. Yep. Yeah, there was nothing left for me to say, was there? Yep. <laughs> what can I what can I follow that with? Apart from yeah. Fair enough. You're a bit like uh, Brock doing a shooting star press, there's nothing for anyone else left to do. <laughs> uh, if I recall correctly, Brock doing a shooting star press didn't uh, always work out for him. Not always, no. <laughs> no. He literally almost died. Yeah. He did it loads of times before though, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah, he has hit it from work. All right, everyone settle up. Grab the hand oil. Here comes Goliath Games TV. <laughs> he is a vampire. That'd be pretty good. Ladies, ladies love purple chess. <laughs> oh, my, my dog seems to agree with you, uh, PC. <laughs> All sitting like Bernie. is your first entry and again we know how these battle royals go it takes about half as long as the entrance is but you know <laughs> yep. with a goliath entrance nobody's watching the clock they're watching the no. cock 
<laughs> Why are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Uh. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good table, I like it. <laughs> yeah, Ancy, this uh, this match kind of defying the whole uh, the biggest man wins the Royal Rumble. All of these men, it's pretty inconceivable to think someone could lift them up and over the ropes. It'd be impossible. Including, in, including Unseen Walker, who's got such a low center of gravity, he's basically the core of the earth. <laughs> yep. Ah, well, not to be outdone on the entrance front. Wow, it should be illegal to have to watch these entrances back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Duscotti, former world heavyweight champion for just a hot minute. <laughs> After miraculously wrestling that belt away from Tony Plays Poorly before giving it right back to him. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point, Basil, as well. He's not just big, he's oily, isn't he? Oh, yep. man. Really hard to get rid of Goliath. <laughs> Quite the powerhouse. <laughs> well, as you can see, uh, Descotti knows his way around that top rope. <laughs> I would love to see him exit a Royal Rumble the way he enters it. <laughs> 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 All right, so he might not be quite as big as the other two in the men in there, but he ain't no slouch either. It's purple chest. He's uh, he's got a chance in this match, I suppose. <laughs> the old man PC. <laughs> I'm surprised you resisted calling the old there for a all of two seconds. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it fresh. I'm trying to keep it fresh with purple chest. Oh, okay. <laughs> Besides, he's he's almost he, he's almost wittier than me, so his insults back at me are like sake, too Tony. good. I don't want to give him. Stop being water. shit. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> like when I'm insulting you, there's nothing to worry about. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But here's my pick, rising out of the ramp. Oh boy. The Mexicutioner, Unseen Walker. Haven't seen him in a few weeks. Glad to have him back. I think this guy is going to go on a tear in the Royal Rumble. You wouldn't bet I against just it, would guaranteed you? he'll be instantly eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right, Purple Chest. <laughs> Just one, I believe. JBG, a 30 man Raw Rumble. Yeah, I lobbied hard to do a uh, to do a cruiserweight Royal Rumble and the uh, and the main one, but Jim said no because he doesn't like good things. But also, we have too many matches. Although we can have as many matches as we want, I suppose. We could, yeah. We could. <laughs> that could be the pre-show way, the ten man uh blues away. Yeah, we could do yeah, we could do we could well, maybe. It's still have to pre record it. So. Yeah, yeah. But it would be a proper it would be a proper Double, double, you think Did it's... you see that? The running big boot by PC. He got his leg up high enough to hit Goliath, but Goliath barely phased by it. And then, <laughs> yep, there you go. That massive spine buster. Biscotti <laughs> giving us all the upskirt we all wanted from Unseen Walker. Oh, he's nearly out! Oh, Goliath hangs on. Somehow, I thought a miracle had just happened. PC with that huge lariat sent him over the top, but somehow Goliath hung on, and PC... Fired up! <laughs> you can tell it's not a CCL playoff because PC actually doing something of value here. Unbelievable <laughs> stuff. Jesus. 
<laughs> oh, this could be trouble though for uh, for Unseen Walker there. Descotti trying to pick him up and over. PC is just being relentless over on Goliath. Yeah, PC got something to prove. He's going straight after the biggest guy. <laughs> it really is. He's just tearing Goliath apart. He might have him here. Mm -hmm. He might have him right now. Picking him up. Can he get him up and over? That's a heavy, heavy slippery man <laughs> to try and work over the ropes. And no, able to somehow hang on. PC working, though. Trying to get, get him off that apron no. there. No, his knee gave out. That's what you'd expect from an 82-year-old man. <laughs> PC going after his spirit animal, the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the change in targets has, seems to have had no negative effect on PC as he's going right after Unseen Walker. Goliath struggling against Descotti there. Descotti almost had him over the ropes, but he uh, was able to fall inside the ring. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. The agility skinning the cat. <laughs> PC <laughs> hangs on. Unbelievable. What a great foursome of guys for a battle royal. It is, isn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> oh. Uh, if anyone's been up here performing, though, it's Unseen Walker. He needs to get something going. He's been in peril pretty much the entire match. <laughs> yep. Well, of course, he is shorter, so while he's just as heavy as these guys, uh, you know, he's got to be easier to manhandle, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely, but he might be the strongest guy in the ring. Oh, oh, this is it. This is it. oh! <laughs> no, it's not. He ducks under, pulls the rope down, and Goliath cannot stop him with his bulk right <laughs> over the top rope. Nice elimination by, uh, by Unseen Walker, but PC right on top of him. What an elimination by Unseen Walker there. Proving us all wrong. Yeah. And now Descotti. Oh, oh Descotti's got PC. Oh. Out goes PC, and we're down to two. Unseen Walker and Descotti. Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's going to pile on. Pile on, <laughs> pile on to Descotti. And... <laughs> Look, look at, I guess some something woke up Unseen Walker. <laughs> he just tosses him off. out from the middle of the ring. Unseen Walker. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what a performance at the end there. Unseen Walker has made it to the Royal <laughs> Rumble. He will be getting break. the coveted number 27 <laughs> slot. The Executioner dominant. <laughs> that was wild, wasn't it? I've never seen that before. That was insane. <laughs> Glorious. He just he literally just threw to Scotty from the middle of the ring. <laughs> I've never <laughs> seen that before. No. Unbelievable. And what a performance. Shocking performance really by Unseen Walker. To come <laughs> out on top. Great little battle royal there. Yeah, that's really good. All right, next up, we've got Tony plays poorly facing off against Gdanik one-on-one. Gdanik uh, kind of struggling as late to try and get the job done for the unholy alliance of Mr. Jim McMahon and six feet down under. But let's get to ringside and see if he can turn it around against the face that runs the place. And there, wait. That's Tony backstage, must be heading to the ring right now. And that's Mr. Jim McMahon confronting him backstage in ambush, maybe. It sure was. And let's <laughs> see if this one. <laughs> Tony. <laughs> well, this, this might have been a mistake by Mr. Jim McMahon. We'll see. But, oh. <laughs> I don't even know why I booked this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
god, I wish you could do handicaps backstage. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jim McMahon could not wait until Sunday to see Tony suffer. And uh, that might have been his undoing. Uh, pride cometh before the fall, I suppose. Oh, here it goes. He's, he's, getting in, he's getting in charge now. Yep. Hello, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, and devastating suplex onto all that concrete. Like 10 feet of concrete there. Yeah. Take him for a walk. Sends him down the hallway there. AJ Styles being interviewed. Uh, I don't think he's going to be getting a job at the JFW, though. I don't think so, man. Whoa. Oh, sends him into the wall, dangerously close to that electric panel. We know exactly what that's capable of doing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, maybe, Bezel. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think a submission move has ever ended a backstage brawl. Like, I, technically, I think they can, but... Yeah, they should be able to, shouldn't they? I Bounces guess they him off that concrete wall again. Oh, it's stupid, because they should be oh. able to, shouldn't they? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can get knocked out by a submission, and I think all these end in knockouts. Oh, so. yeah, fair oh, enough. Oh, really? Oh, really, Night Demon. Oh, shit. Fair enough. Mm. Oh, he's looking oh, for the gym bottom. Goodness. The gym's bottom. The, the gym's bottom. Nope. Countered, yeah, countered, I think. No, he just went for an armbar. No, countered by Tony. Didn't mean to oversell that one. I know those animations too. <laughs> unseen Walker. Uh, unseen Walker, Flicky Flack. He dominated in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good old Bobby Roo. Oof. Oh, AJ Styles is fucking pissed yeah. his pants. When, when the billionaire owner is tearing apart the talent uh, backstage, maybe that's not the company you want to uh, work for. <laughs> AJ Styles has left the building. <laughs> oh, fuck's <laughs> Oh, Jim's really taking it to Tony right now. Yeah. Oh, unseen. You need to go watch the VOD, my friend. You need to go watch the VOD. Yep. <laughs> Literally the last match. Oof. Tony really down and out here. Stomped on by Mr. Jim McMahon. Another spine buster. Might have hit his head there, and he did. He knocked him out. And Mr. Jim McMahon assaulting the leader of Mighty AF to send another message for this Sunday. Whew. Oh boy. All right. Things not looking good for Mighty AF right now. No. Um, so now we've got the we've got the main event, haven't we? Night Demon with a with the open challenge, isn't it? Yeah, for the, uh... Absolutely. Open challenge by Night Demon for the Wem Dope title. You know, six feet down under just riding these highs right now. And uh, uh, anyone could answer it. I thought I thought maybe uh, maybe Tony might, but after that, getting knocked out, Tony's certainly not in any position to go after him. So here we go. Let's get to ringside. And there he is, your Wem Dope champion, Night Demon. Well, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's an, an open challenge. It's an open challenge, Night Demon. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually, answer. <laughs> so who is who is going to answer this challenge? Absolutely. Here we go. Night Demon awaiting his opponent. Could be anyone from the JFW Open Challenge. Let's see who he's got. Well, well, who's this? I've got no idea. Some strange masked wrestler named Mr. E 
Mr. E oh, is here boy. for his title shot, answering the call, the Wemdo Championship. A new wrestler debuting on the scene. Never seen this wow. guy before. Incredible. Uh, Jimmy Ventura, you know anything about this guy. I don't know. This is an entirely new signing. This is amazing. Mr. E has debuted in the JFW. Don't have any any paperwork on this guy whatsoever. Don't know where he's from. Don't know where else he's wrestled from. But he's here tonight to go after Night Demon for the Wem Dope Championship. Oh, boy. Let's see what he's made of here. I like his entrance. Yeah, yeah, he's got a real spring in his step. Real spring in his step there. Nice music there. I got an <laughs> interesting look on his face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Frosty, it's his debut, so yep, he is. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's never lost the match as far as we know. <laughs> yeah. Introducing. Oh, he's got a serious wrestling face on now. <laughs> he's a serious wrestling face. Absolutely, and here he is, Mr. E. What kind of wrestler could he be? Doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like much of a conventional type. We'll have to see. But Night Demon now might uh, might be caught off guard by this one. How do you prepare? for a guy named Mr. E. Yeah. Absolutely no, no idea what this guy's gonna be like, what he can bring to the table. A complete unknown quantity for a night demon here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's an idiot. And here we go, is he gonna wrestle with the bag on his head? Yep, that's a traditional luchador mask, I'm being told. And Mr. E versus Night Demon. Oh, the running knee right off the bat. Look oh at this. Boy, self -rock the self -rock bottom. That's how you know he means business. Mr. E putting on a clinic. Oh, no, but Night Demon countering here. Oh, man. Instant Night self -rock Demon rock coming right back. Maybe Night Demon already impatient with this, uh, this up-and-comer Mr. E. But no, Suplex back in the ring. Mr. E stomps right on his head. Oh, drives the knee to his head. Savage attack by Mr. E. Stomps on his back. Oh, but the wind-up lariat there. And here comes Night Demon. Stomping away on him now. Frust a little frustration there by the six feet down on the leader. Oh, look at this bridging. Oh, ref having the, basically hitting him in the balls on that pin attempt there. Uh, <laughs> but only a one count. Vicious kick to the back. Oh, Mr. E. Oh, no, he's Ooh. missed him there. No, he's got him on the on the follow through, Mr. E. Yeah, again, this is this is what happens when you have no scouting information whatsoever on your opponent. You know, yeah. uh, Night Demon just has no idea what to hit, do with Mr. E, but he does know how to do that, that inverted body slam there, defying physics. <laughs> yep. I've never seen anyone like this, Ancy. I don't know. Oh, wow, Night Demon really. Uh... <laughs> hey, buddy. Maybe he's thinking about unmasking him. No, Whoa. no, he's just going to drive his head into him instead. <laughs> And now going for a pinfall, looking to end the charade. Not even a one count. Mr. E will not be denied. Now he's thinking about, nope, nope, still not trying to rip that mask off. Seems like a pretty easy way to get uh, get inside Mr. E's head, but instead he gets clotheslined out of the ring. Mr. E laying it on him right now. Absolutely. Oh, but the counter's on from Night Demon. <laughs> That'd be a great unmasking to reveal another <laughs> paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, another nice, that's a beautiful suplex there. And uh, back in the ring we go. Pretty high count there by the ref, but uh, Night Demon putting him in the ring. But, oh, look at this! Running kick there by Mr. E. Oh, it's oh, he missed, though. He misses with the sweep kick. Oh, but the counter kicks him in the ass. <laughs> and now countered again by Night Demon. Oh, punching right back. So evenly matched, these two. Yeah, this is uh, 
Absolute counterfest right now. And look at this, going for the big fisherman super. Oh no, he fell. No, it's a small package. Oh, he's dropped him into a small package, but Knight's even able to kick out. What an innovative move. And look oh, at this, he's going crazy, folks. <laughs> wow. I've never seen this level of ener energy before from, uh, from a new coming wrestler. He is making one hell of a debut tonight on Monday Night Claw. Absolutely incredible. Now, certainly not, Ansi. Certainly not. Oh, there it is. He's trying to unmask him. Night Demon trying desperately to get that mask off and reveal to the world Mr. E's secrets. But Mr. E fighting right back, punching away. And oh, no, he got caught again. Oh, look at this. Up into that beautiful hanging suplex by Night Demon. There he goes down. And that might have ended Mr. E's run here. Night Demon feeling it spitting the blood, trying again to get that mask off of him. So oh. desperate to get it up. Mr. E, how's it staying on? Oh, looks just like a paper bag to me. <laughs> Mr. E able to fight out of it. Oh, fuck you, Night Demon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, you know, Mr. E even fell for the punch, and Night Demon has set him up and has uh, put him down, I think. <laughs> Oh, well, it could be Marcel, maybe. It doesn't, doesn't wrestle anything like Marcel. No, oh, I mean, Marcel doesn't wrestle, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if this was a table match, I'd believe you. <laughs> oh, he's ready for the oh, zombie. Oh, no, and here it is, the zombie to end things. Mystery, thanks for coming. You put on a show, but it's time. Oh, he missed. Nope. He missed right, somehow. Then. Oh, no, never mind. No, he countered. Oh. <laughs> he countered. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And look at this. He's going top rope. Oh, wow. Mr. E, top rope E. Here we go. <laughs> Drives oh, that God. elbow right into the back of the head of Night Demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Night Demon. Oh, drop toe hold. He got him on the bottom rope. What's he got for him? Oh, no. The running teabag stomp, I think. Yep. <laughs> Driving his dick right into the back of his head there. <laughs> Mr. E has come back. Can he close it out? Oh, kick to the knee. Oh, no, but just muscles him away on a counter there. Now standing him up by the throat. What's Mr. E got for him? Oh, a shake, oh, rattle and roll. Those hips. shake, rattle, and roll. We've seen this never end matches before, <laughs> folks. Could it do it right here, right now? Yeah. Oh, I like that Johnny Be Good because he's like a John Doe, so it's like John E. Yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Maybe, maybe. Oh, Mike even might get his mask off here. No, does not get his mask off. That's crazy talk, damn Dave. Uh, J5 is no longer employed by the JFW. Yep. And Mr. E. Sent into the corner here. Night even trying to come back. No, the elbow here by Mr. E as he comes back. No, quick kick to the gut. Night Demon now. Oh, wrenches that neck on that neckbreaker suplex. Oh, oh, it's a good match, this isn't it? This is about as well as anyone's ever done against Night Demon. This Mr. E is, is quite the talent. Oh, other than maybe PPO. oh, look at this. He's kicked him. What's he got? Oh, curb stop. Curb stop. He's busted him open. He might have knocked him out. No, he's still moving. I think he's, uh, he's going for the pin here. Very hopeful pin, maybe. He's got him! No, oh, he got him! Mr. E is your new Wemdolf champion! He caught him out with the curb stomp! What a match! And Mr. E has done it! Unbelievable stuff! Night Demon's end has run! I mean, that was as epic a run as you could imagine for the Wemdolf Championship. But Mr. E caught him off guard, got that curb stomp in, and... and <laughs> Mr. E is your Wem Dope champion, folks. Unbelievable stuff. Absolutely unbelievable. And yeah, he's got a 100% win rate in, in the gym. Uh, yeah, the yeah, this is like a, a, the start of a burgeoning, undefeated uh, streak. Mr. E, and he's fired up. Look at him go. Oh my god. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he is, yeah, he is feeling it. What a debut for a young up-and-coming wrestler. Mr. E has done it. He is your new Wem Dope champion, Mr. E. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs>
<laughs> well, nice team, and I think you got bigger, bigger fish to fry right now. Anyway, you got to focus on that Hell in a Cell match in just six days' time at the Royal Rumble, Mighty AF versus the Unholy Alliance of Mr. Jim McMahon and Six Feet Down Under. But ladies and gentlemen, we have just seen a title change, and that is going to do it for Monday Night Claw. As always, my name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me, Mr. Jimmy Ventura. I will see you guys on Friday for Stand Firm. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.